All right, welcome back, everyone. As we uh, delightfully learn the Mishnah Yomis uh, for this um, Tuesday evening of uh, the week of Asosim Chuva, having a mind to learn to be Mekayim the Mitzvah of the Bar Tabam Lasis Nachas Ruach Liyotzveinu. As we finish off the first parak of Megillah and start the second, we start with Mishnah Yud Aleph. In the first parak, sponsored Lili Nishmas Chaim Zanvil Ben Moshe, and the Refuah Shalem for Eli Yom Moshe Ben Chai Sarin for the Schus of Avram Ben Yom and Benish Ben Malkiyudas and family. We are sponsored also by the Fisher family: Lili Nishmas Basi Bas Rabbit Shlomo Ben Avram Alevi Peru Bas Ruvain. The Shama should have a lichtig Ganeden by Yol Klugman and family for them to have a Gemar Chasima Tov in every which way. Also, the Fushalema for my Shver, Avigdur Ayeh ben Rifka, the Fushalema for Meir ben Chayasara. The Mishnah, if you remember, we said that for 369 years there was a Bama Gedela, a public altar in Shiloh. And then, of course, later on, after Noivin Givain, the uh, Beis Amigdish was in Yerushalayim. Aim bain. Shiloi to Yerushalayim. There's no difference between Shiloi and Yerushalayim. In both places, they offered communal karbanas, but El Hashem Shiloi, in the Mishkan Shiloi, Eichlin Kachim Kalm, it wasn't there, it's Yisrael, Yerushalayim. They ate the Kachim Kalm, the minor Kachim, like Shlamim, Taida, Bechar, Maisa Behema, O Maisa Sheni, and the second tithe, Bechol Haraya, wherever they could see the Mishkan Shiloi. Be Yerushalayim in Yerushalayim, Kachim Kalim and Maisheshen was eaten in the old city. Nechalim Lef Nemanachayma was in was in, eaten within the walls of the old city. The Kan Vikan, both by the Mishkan Shiloi and in the Temple in Yerushalayim, Kachay Kachim, the Holy of Holies, like Chattis, like uh, uh, like uh, Asham, like a Mincha. Nechalim lefnim and aklam was eaten only within the Azorah, within the temple courtyard. Now it was called within the curtain because in the Mishkan of Moshe there was curtains. Of course, in the Beis Hamikdash there were walls, so it was eaten within the temple courtyard, only within the Azara. Kedusha Shiloi Yeishachar Heter. Although private altars were not allowed during the 369 years in Shiloi, but they were permitted afterwards in Noiv and Given. But a Kedushas Yerushalayim, after the temple was built, never again was it permitted to have a private altar. And now we start the uh, second parak of Megillah. Hakoire Esa Megillah. If you read the Megillah Lemafreya, out of order, let's say you read the first parak, the second parak before the first parak, Lo it has to be read in order. Karal Pef, you read it by heart. Or Karat Targum Bechol Lashen, if you read it in Aramaic or in any other language, in French, in, Gr- in Greek, in German, with from a Megillah that's written in French, Greek, and German respectively, and the, and the one who hears it doesn't understand these languages, Lo Yatsa, he doesn't fulfill his requirement. You could have a Megillah written in French and read it to a Frenchman because he understands French, so that's allowed. You could have a Megillah written in English and read it in English. But a Frenchman who hears it in Hebrew, although he doesn't understand Hebrew, that's because Hebrew is an intrinsic language. It's not just merely a, a, a language made up uh, and it's only a language because people are used to these labels. But really, the word dog, D O G, has nothing to do with a dog. It's the same letters as G O D, God. But in Hebrew, the word kelev has to do intrinsically with a dog because kelev is kol lev with all of its heart, and the dog is very loyal. It never bites the hand that feeds it. So, therefore, if a Frenchman hears it in Hebrew, even though he doesn't understand Hebrew, he fulfills his requirement. Now the Me'iri says a different reason. The Me'iri says if a Frenchman hears it in Hebrew, even though he doesn't understand it, he's Yatza because since most people around him understand Hebrew, they will explain to him what it means and he will have Pursume Nisa. That's the way the Me'iri learns. Again, 
So the difference over here is, is if it's written in English and it's laid in English and you don't know how to speak English, you're not Yaitse. But if it's written in Hebrew and you hear it in Hebrew, even though you don't understand Hebrew, you are Yaitse. Let me remind you that tomorrow night we again start at 8, zoomdaf.com. Also want to remind you that there will be a Shabbos Shubh afterwards at about a quarter to nine. And uh, we want to wish everybody a wonderful evening.